This is a video showing the use of the force platform in PASCO capstone to measure reaction times. So on this screen I've previously generated a graph. On the vertical axis I have the normal force from one of our force platforms. If you've got a two-dimensional uh, force platform you can also uh, use the shear force that is generated. On the horizontal axis I have a calculation generated called reaction time. And then in the upper right hand side I have uh, a digits display of the reaction time. Let me show you how I configured this workbook. The first part of configuring this workbook was to generate calculations through the calculator. Within this workbook I'm using an interface, our 550 interface, with an output signal. So this will allow us to generate a tone for which the athlete will be signaled to, uh, to jump or uh, move out of the blocks. So this first calculation is uh, configured to do that. In this calculation, uh, the tone will sound between 5 seconds uh, into the experiment and 5.5 seconds. So the athlete will get a half second tone generated for them to react to. And then the second calculation, reaction time, I'm subtracting off the um, time before the tone so that we can then re just record the time after the tone that the uh, athlete has had to react to the tone. We can go ahead and close this calculator drawer by clicking on the calculator again. And we can take a look at the signal generator here. So I have the output uh, for the 550 interface being the sine wave. Um, I have selected a thousand hertz. Uh, for this workbook you can choose uh, other frequencies if that would be more appropriate for uh, starting guns for whatever sport you're involved in or tones that would better match uh, for instance a quarterback calling off the, the, uh, the calls on the line. You can set the amplitude for the um, signal generator. Please make sure not to exceed the voltage and current that the um, speaker can have. If you wished instead to have a light, you would then need to configure that for um, the voltage requirements for the light signal that you would use. Let's go ahead and close this down again. Now to help with the uh, determination of the final reaction speed of the athlete, I've also set some of the recording conditions for this workbook. So for the start condition, um, it's just a matter of pressing the record button. But for the stop condition, what I've done is set a measurement based end of the workbook so that when the athlete exceeds a certain normal force on the force platform, for instance, if the condition rises above 50 newtons, then it will stop the data collection and um, then use that to determine the, the final reaction time of the athlete. Prior to the start of the data run, you're going to want to have the athlete tear the force platform so then it will detect the force above their, their weight. For the force platform, this is a very small button just to the uh, one side or the other of the cord that attaches to the force platform. Once that's done, you can hit the record button. The tone will generate and the force on the, the net force on the platform will be recorded. You can see that I was not quite prepared for the, the signal, so I had to bend my knees prior to uh, jumping. However, for the trained athlete, unlike me, um, they will be ready to go, and um, the force will go from uh, the net zero up above.